Hey guys, Erin here, Happily We Go, and I am so super excited to be here with you today. I want to first take a moment to say thank you so very much to Miss Jolene over at Live Art Journaling and Self-Development Facebook group um, for asking me to come today and kind of share my little creative mess with you. Um, this is a journal that I'm going to be working in today. As you can see, it's just a lot of backgrounds, just some playful stuff. I love creating in journals that I've made myself because I feel like there's not as much pressure to have a beautiful piece. Um, so I'm going to open up this book, and this is an 8x8, just plain Bristol paper, but you can use any journal that you want. Before we jump into the lesson, let's talk supplies. Today I'm going to use some of the Dilutions paint pots. You can use any colors that speak to you. Um, you don't have to use the colors that I'm showcasing here. I'm even going to use some Deco Art, some Craftsmart. Um, here's some gesso that we're going to break out. We will also be using a brayer. If you don't have a brayer, never fear. Um, you can use your fingers. We're gonna have some paint brushes. These are super old paint brushes. I'm mostly gonna use them to flick paint or dab stuff with. I'm gonna use some um, acrylic paint markers. You can use any ones that you have on hand. Pretty much any markers are gonna do. You guys, this is just gonna go with the flow. I have a letter stencil. Again, any one you have will work. A spray bottle is going to come in super handy. And my favorite tool, the paper towel. I'm even going to break out some gold leaf and some glue stick. If you don't have gold leaf, you could use any sort of gold acrylic paint, gold paint pen, any of that stuff. So this is just the basics, so let's get into it. Now, like I mentioned, I'm going to be using the Dilutions paint pots. You could use Deco Arts, you could use, you know, golden paints if you have them. Seriously, there is no rules here. Whatever you have on hand, that is what you can use. Now, we're gonna get messy and use our fingers. I love finger painting. I know it's super messy. If it's not something that you're digging, grab a paintbrush. Again, there's no rules here. I enjoy painting with my fingers because it makes me feel more connected to my art. Like the emotions that I'm feeling just run right down my hands into my fingertips and just ooze onto the page. That sounds crazy, I know, but hang with me. All right, so as you can see, I added some paint here. If you make a little brown mess, some muddy stuff, don't worry about it. We can cover it up. That's the beauty of acrylic paints. You can layer. As you can see, I'm also leaving a little bit of white space around my page. If you feel like you wanna cover in the whole page, that's fine too. But we'll just add a little bit of paints here and then we're gonna throw on some gesso as well because I love a little gesso on a page. And we're gonna smush. I love smushing. Push the pages together, press them on down, and then open them up. Look at that patterning. I love the texture that smushing a page gives you. I don't think that is the correct terminology, but it's the Aaron terminology, so we're gonna roll with it. Now we're gonna dry it. And once it's dry, you can see it's not fully dry. So those ridges, there was a lot of gesso there. So this is where the brayer is going to come in handy. It's We're going to smush it all over the page again with the brayer. It's not going to pick up all of the gesso, but it's going to help move it around and kind of uh, pop those colors into the background. I know this looks like a super hot mess, but hang with me because we're going to kind of pull it together as we go. Now we have a little bit of those empty spots that didn't have any of the paint. So I'm gonna bring on the yellow dilutions and I'm going to put it on with my finger and then take my favorite paper towel and just move the paint around. This allows you to still see the colors shine through underneath the yellow paint, but it'll fill in those spots where maybe there wasn't any of the acrylic paint so we don't have plain paper showing. And then it's kind of, you know, brightening up our page. It's bringing color to the page, some sunshine. And now we sort of have it bordered with the yellow. So go ahead and dry that layer. And now we're going to take this Stabilo. This is a water-soluble pencil. If you have any water-soluble pencils, you could use any pencils if you don't have that. But I love these because they're activated with water. Okay guys, now we're gonna get to the meat of the journal page. I want you to think about yourself. Think about the positive qualities that you know to be true about yourself, but you don't necessarily tell yourself. These are our positive affirmations and I want you to write them on the page. So you can write them super scribbly, scripty, however you want, but we're gonna put them on the page. Say things like, I am beautiful, I am a good mother, um, I am loved, that's so big. And we don't always feel those things, but we know them deep down in our souls that they are true. So put those on the page. See, it's kind of even hard for me to come up with them. It, it's a process and that's okay. So once we have it down, you can, you can write them any way you want on the page, but once we have them down, we're gonna grab our spray bottle and we're going to spray across the page. Look at this, look how that that Stabilo just runs. Isn't that beautiful? And you can, you can make it as runny and scribbly as you want. 
it's just gonna add darkness to the page. And if you get too much, like say, whoo, that's kind of a lot, that's okay, grab your paper towel again, and you can blot it, and it's gonna pull that back. It's gonna make it a little bit more muted, but we're still gonna have these beautiful affirmations on our page. Once you have the writing scripty, runny, how you want it, go ahead and dry that layer. All right, now we're gonna take a darker color. This is Prussian blue, and I'm just gonna dot some randomly on the page. We're going intuitive here, which is not usually my style of art. I like to have things planned out, but today I'm feeling very much like I wanna be emotional and raw with you guys. So I'm gonna grab this paper towel now, and I'm going to blot off some of that paint. I don't know of anybody else that buys their paper towels based on patterning, but I totally do. I'm a weirdo. So anyways, we're gonna smudge this out with our fingers and just press it down a little bit and bring it all over the page, smudgy smudge. Just however you feel. You don't have to use a dark blue. If you feel pulled to use like a deep purple or maybe even black, you can totally do that. But we're gonna have a band of darkness along the side here. This is where our sentiment is gonna end up going for the page. But we're gonna add this border of darkness around the page and then pull it in. For me, we have our positive affirmations in the middle and this darkness is almost like the negativity of the world. And it's sometimes it just feels like it's pulling in and it's crushing us. And that's what I wanted this deep band of color to be. Now here's another trick. Take your spray bottle and spray it and you can smooth that paint down before it's fully dry. And then you can see the coloring show in between them. We're breaking away that darkness and letting our light shine through. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more paint down here because I think I want a, a larger band where my sentiment is gonna go. And I'm going to add that also up into the top corner as well. When I do one thing in one page, I like to do it in the opposite on the other page to help balance out the layout. I'm super digging the texture from when we smushed those pages. Now go ahead and dry this really good and then we'll move on to the next step. Now I picked up this stencil. I can't remember if it was at the dollar store or if it was at Walmart, but this is the perfect time to get alphabet stencils with the back to school season and they're really, really cheap and they work awesome. So now I know I wanna have the sentiment here. It's going to say I am enough and I want that enough because it's longer to go on the bottom. So we're gonna line everything up with that one first. So figure out where you want it and then I'm gonna take this Sharpie paint pen here because it has a little bit thinner uh, point on it so it'll fit into that uh, each letter a little bit better. And it can be super messy because we're gonna go back over it again, but this is at least gonna give us um, a rough idea of where our letters are gonna line up. And if you get a little paint smudges, just dab it a bit before you move on and don't even worry about it, it's all good. We're gonna roll with it. The beauty of the paint pen is if you accidentally mess up, you just rub it off with your hand, kind of figure out where you want it, and look, I'm going back right where I originally had it anyways. Now I'm gonna take a little bit wider Posca pen here and I'm gonna go back over to brighten up our sentiment. Now 
I'm gonna grab another Posca pen. This one's yellow because there's the yellow in the background and I wanna pull that color back out. Yellow to me is sunshine, it's bright and it's happy. And we are gonna draw a messy border around the outside. If you feel pulled towards orange or pink or whatever color you'd like, definitely use that. Now I'm thinking, let's do another one. Why not add a double border? We can do whatever we want. That is the beauty of the art journal. Now, if you've watched any of my videos before, you know I love fluorescent colors. I love hot pink, so we're gonna bring that pink back out and put a little bit more onto the page. I am a super messy artist. I just love making a mess, I don't know what it is. But we're gonna throw some paint down there on my paper and I'm gonna grab this stencil brush. It's perfect, it's a little bit wider, so it's gonna make these great bigger dots on there. If you don't have a wider paintbrush, totally use like the end of a pencil, a pencil eraser, or anything that you can kind of just dot on there. You could even use your finger. That would rock too. Now, as you can see, what I did on one side, I mirrored and I did down on the opposite corner. This helps balance out the layout just like we did before. So we're going to add a little bit more here, dab it around, make a mess. Oop, a little bit too much there. So we'll clean that up. And then let's take it a step further. Remember that old crusty paintbrush? Dab that into the paint and flick it. Flick it all over and make awesome little painty dots everywhere. You can also use an old toothbrush and that works fantastic too. Now because some of those paint dots are a little bit thick, I'm gonna grab my paper towel and blot down. This will help them dry faster, but then it also picks up a little of the paint and we can move that around onto the page as well. So just kind of dab it here and there and wherever and then dry our little dots. So as I was drawing, I realized that the lines on the letter M didn't match all the way down to the letter A, and that was sort of bugging me. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna go back over these letters. We're gonna make the lines a little bit thicker and brighten them up and make them pop off the page a little bit more. So that's what I'm doing here. I decided the border needed a little something and add a little bit more white to it, so I'm going to add this stitching. For me, stitching makes me think of things that are pulled together. They're sewn together to stay put. Our light, our darkness, everything that is makes us who we are. And that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna stitch all of this stuff together. Now it wouldn't be a finished Erin page if it didn't have a little bit of shimmer. We're gonna bring that gold gel pen and I'm gonna trace around the letters for our sentiment. Just make them pop a little bit more. I'm so thankful that Jolene invited me into y'all's family. It's been so much fun hanging out here today. If you guys created alongside me, be sure to tag me in your art. I would love to see how you were inspired by today's page. If you're on Instagram, I'm at Happily We Go over there, and you can tag me there. I'm also here on Facebook, and then I do have a YouTube channel too. So I do a couple videos over there every now and then. So be sure to subscribe and hang out with me over there too. I would love to follow you guys along with your journey so make sure you leave me a message so I can follow you back. Remember that gold leaf from the beginning? Well, we're gonna add some to the page. I got the gold leaf, look at that, it's so fine. I got it on Amazon, super cheap, and you get tons of it. All we're gonna do is take a little bit of glue stick, put it on your page, and then take that gold leaf and rub it onto the glue with your finger. If you don't have gold leaf, it's okay, you could use gold paint, you could use gold pen, you could skip the gold, maybe you're into silver, whatever you wanna do. Remember, this is your page. I'm just giving you some tips, some techniques, some tools on how to bring it all together. Then I'm gonna grab that stencil brush we used before and I'm just gonna rub over top of the gold leaf. It's gonna pull off any that didn't stick down and also give it a little bit more of a, I guess, antiqued look. You could use any paintbrush, just something that's a little bit stiffer in the bristles. And then go ahead and shake off any excess. 
And I'm thinking I need a little bit more right there in the middle. And that is gonna pretty much finish up our page today, you guys. Shake it off, look at that, look at all that texture and color. I'm so excited that I got to be here today. Look at these painty fingers. Doesn't painty fingers make you feel good? It's like, wow, I made a mess and I created something today and that's awesome. Look at the page that we created. It's both the light and the dark, but it's this positive affirmations to remind us that we are enough. You are loved. I am so excited that Jolene invited me here today. I would love to follow along with you guys. So if you create art, be sure to tag me. Thank you so very much. Mad love to you all. And until next time, happy creating.